We are in Elkhart, Indiana, and we are here at the Organized OB Company, and they want to help you keep it together. You want to have some tips on how to maximize your RV space? Stick around. We have some storage solutions you are going to love. So uh, OBCO started in 1990, um, and we supply nets and netting to the RV industry. We're in the heart of RV country, so we're completely surrounded. Even if you film, we got the medic right over there. We got Thor right down the corner, so we are right in the heart of it. Um, but we also supply nets and netting to the West Coast, East Coast, all over the place. We make the nets here, so everything's made in the United States. Boats, RVs, and we also uh, make nets for trailers, emergency vehicles. We've done Washington Senators. We've made nets for them. We do them for airplanes and boats or uh, cars. So is it only Outhouses. <laughs> duck Outhouses, duck that's lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the only thing that you, that you make is the netting? It's mainly all sewable stuff, but uh, we're able to sew magnets into things. And so that opens up a whole variety, especially for RVs. So if you've got a, an RV that the back opens up and you want to sit inside and enjoy the outside, you just throw this net up on the back with the screen. So you'll be able to Ooh, enjoy Ooh, that sounds outside. like something that we could use for yeah, sure. Yeah, keep the bugs out. A nice out. little yeah. screen room. Right, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to give us a tour yeah. of this place and along the way, tell us some of the favorite pieces that people want. I mean, sure. I assume that you can order things online. Absolutely. So come on okay. this way. We'll take you through the inner sanctum. So this is kind of cool. I'm looking at this over here. Uh, this is obviously magnetic. Right. Uh, I did that display. This is a doorstop magnet. Um, and so if you got a, a door that you want to keep open in case there's cats and dogs or that you don't want to get locked up in the door. Right. Um, then you put this on one end and the door and the other and it'll keep it you can have it up high you can have it low and uh, our new ones are powder coated so you can work them outside as well um, and since we're in our area here i put the hat on them and they're amish amish magnets oh very so. cool love that that's great what a and, great idea and then we have neodymium the real heavy duty rare earth magnets that show that how you how much weight that it will hold. And then that's a clip. The smaller ones we'll use for brooms or pipes, uh, oars, you know, whatever it is that they want. But I just had threw that piece together. Right, because you always need something that's gonna hold things so it's not traveling through your camper, right? through your through your van, through your boat, whatever it is, you yeah. want things to stay in place. Now this is a bunk bed net for units, obviously they have bunk beds. Right, you know? very important. And yep. so many people are always asking what that option is for their bunks, because some of them don't have it, right. or they buy a used unit and it's gone. Now the beautiful thing about this, normally on a bunk bed rail, it's always there, you can't get rid of it. But since this is fabric, you just lift up the mattress, and throw it underneath. And slide it underneath the mattress. Then it's good to go. And then the other thing we use, uh, uh, these belt buckles so that the kids, once they wake up, they can handle right. putting this and they can make their own bed by we lifting that up. We had something like this in our class C. So our granddaughter slept uh, over the top and she was able to yeah. let herself yeah. out, which was great. Uh, this would be one of our custom OEM things. This isn't necessarily what you would buy on the, on the website, but if a unit company, RV company has a window that they want to cover, but that people want to still have access to it. So we build window covers. Um, okay, so it's sort of like a, sort of like a tent. A tent uh, window yeah, covering. Yeah, you can adjust it however you want. And, uh, okay. So then over here, we have these kind of nets. Um, and with this net, they would put it at the foot of the bed and then they could put pillows, they have books or uh, stuffed animals. You can even fit shoes in here. Some people yep. are always looking, where am I gonna oh, put yeah. my shoes? Oh yeah. So that yeah. could go on the base of the bed. Blankets. Right. Um, yeah, and then uh, you can also put these up on the bed up above or the ceiling up above. Okay, slide your so, phone in there or slide yeah. chapstick, whatever, right yeah. in there. Very nice. And the magnetic knife yes. holder. Yes, this is actually a um, baggage door magnet. So for outdoors, a lot of times the units will have those clips and it takes two hands to right. to get the clips to work. And right, you, the or garage you, doors. Right, or you forget that it's clipped and you pull on it and you snap it. Right. Okay, well with the magnet, you never have to worry about that. They never freeze, They're, I mean, they always work. 
Um, and so with that, we convert, uh, we're able to adapt it to a chef's knife. All you have to do is twist and it'll come right off. Oh, that's nice. And if it was just flat and you try to take it off, it's not gonna work. Right. So we also have uh, these which are held on with snads. It's a um, 3M adhesive. So if you don't wanna screw into your unit, you can use these and that'll hang down. Then for the inside of your cabinets, we got those nets. Oh wow, this is great. Even like a spice cabinet, even though you're not having your spices, but you can put all, all the time you have uh, dry packages of uh, taco seasonings or whatever that can go in there. Paper that towels, are forks, flying yeah. everywhere, yeah. 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 So how far do these really stretch? Well, quite a bit yeah. actually, yeah. yeah. No, that's nice. And those can go on any wall. But in your cabinets, it's mm -hmm. hidden, which is nice. We've also got this, This you talk about a spice rack, so then this okay. could go back up in there as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. I can see a good use for that for sure. So, so yeah, I'm looking at the back of the RV where I have cereal, I've got other dry foods. This I can have easy access to because you can pull this down, but everything's going to stay. When I open up the doors back there after it's been riding on I-10, believe me, my stuff falls out. So this is going to be perfect. Hammock, yes. Yeah. Well, hey, anybody want an apple? But this is, li this is a little fruit hammock. So this fruit hammock is going to hold all of your fruits, whatever, even vegetables that you want to put there. So what about these? What are these? So the aluminum hooks, it's just a hook that you're, uh, it's kind of an invisible, how it hides or how it hangs. And you just got a screw and you screw that into the wall. And now you got a peg, you can hang a towel or purse Jacket or whatever you want. Whatever. Yeah. Dog leash, very mm -hmm. important because our veers are all about their pets. Now these screw in and then for those that don't want to screw in, we have the, these are also used the snads, the 3M snads. Which, which means what? They have Velcro on one side? So this is 3M uh, adhesive and then there's the snap. Okay. And so when you put that on your wall, and for it's, in here, we just put a Velcro on. Sure, so it's gonna yeah. make it easier yeah. for you here. Very nice, love that. So this is our Get Wet Organizer. Uh, it's one of our top sellers. It goes in the shower. Um, because it doesn't mold. It's made of a PVC material, so it uh, doesn't mildew, and it's got little places to hold your razors, and you've got just shampoo and conditioners, and the, plus you don't have to screw in to the, the wall. You just use a snad, and that'll stick on there, and that way you don't have to pull things off the shelf. So you can get down the road, you just leave it in there, and you're good to go. Um, and it comes in, we've got about seven different colors. We got brass, we got aluminum, we got tan, white, we got black. Uh, just depends on how avant-garde you want to get. So um, we custom- To match any decor. Yep, and we make these uh, on order. Oh, the other thing that people use these for is for shoes. So if you're out running and you got muddy shoes, you put these, you put the shoes in there and then all the mud and dirt stays in here as opposed to getting on the walls. And then when you uh, when it's time to clean it, you just pull it off the snaps, and dump it there out. There goes the dirt. Yep, you can throw it in the laundry if you wanted to, and you're good to go. The shower organization yep. in an RV right. is huge, right. and we're always wanting to have the next best thing. So that is great and mildew resistant. Right. I mean that's fantastic. And then you have these corner shelves over here. Tell me yes, about those. Um, some units, uh, they want those in the shower instead of one of those. Right. So these are just corner shower units. We also have, this is a laundry or toys, or my kids had Lego. So um, these just come off like this. So if you got laundry that you need to do, pull that off and then cinch that up and- Oh, that's a great organizer. Or if each kid has a, different set of toys or their books, then they can take this in and- uh, Oh, that's perfect for even people toys. that have a home. If you're not living right. full-time in an RV, that's okay. This is sure. great for the home too. Or to go from a weekend RV trip to the home, simple, easy, keep everything organized in one shot out of the RV and back to home. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Then the mesh nets, we talked a little about those. Those are the three different sizes. And then we've got the double version. Uh, and again, that's sort of, and those work great in the back um, to put hoses and stuff in because they're very breathable. And you guys eat a lot of spam around here in Elkhart well. or something? Because I see spam down there and I only had that when I was a kid, but it seems to be a thing now. <laughs> I measure, I measure how many, how big our net is by how many cans of spam okay. it will hold. So. I see. Oh, we got the instant closet uh, and insta hangers. 
So if the, uh, this can go outside or inside, you just flip that down and you can put a towel or a rag. Oh, that's great. And you even have a pull-up bar. And so, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is how you make a closet, but really most people just use one. So it collapses down and then you open it up and then you got an instant hanger. Hanging oh, this is great. Yeah. What a great idea. Now that is, that is definitely something special and something that we all need in our RVs because we always feel that we have enough space until we get in there and then we realize we need more. Right. So any little gadget that can give us more space and, and smarter solutions to store things. Tell me about this. Then we've got TV mounts and we've even got some TV mounts that uh, you can have two different mounts, like one inside, one outside, then you can pull the TV and, and pull it outside when you're tailgating. And then you've got some more nets over here on the wall. So most of these nets are going to be part of our industrial. So we make uh, pallet rack nets and pallet wrap nets for people who want to eliminate using shrink wrap um, so they can, you know, if they build it and they can deliver it. Okay. So they can cover it and then just bring the, the wrap back. So it eliminates uh, using shrink wrap. Those are some of the different handles that we offer. And your gripper clips and... And then everybody's got a forklift. So these forklift nets uh, are put on with magnets um, because there's no storage on forklifts at all. Sure. Uh, so you just throw those up and you can see by the custom shape and everything that just about any well, I was going to uh, say, direction that you want even to go. my husband's garage underneath the RV, I can see this being on the wall and he can store bigger items in there, be able to have easy yeah. access, see it, it's visible, which is exactly what you need. You need to use things that you can see through. So you'd custom sew everything here. Yeah. Who creates? You have someone who designs and think you've got a team. We've got an engineer. Yes, Francis. But uh, and a lot of our stuff is at a show that just got canceled because of the hurricane down at... Tampa. So. We're from Florida, so we're from Daytona. We have friends right now have seven inches of water oh, in yeah. their home. So, yeah, it's where our hearts go out to everybody down there. So <laughs> this is more of the art. So we've we've actually uh, this is great. So we're trying to create more of a homey atmosphere, so it's not completely industrial. Well, they did a beautiful um, job. Yeah. And here's our break area. How many employees do you have? Uh, we have 110, I think. This is our engineering. The all, designs, all creation the design, of the designs here. Prototypes, yep, all that stuff's here. Yep. This is a, um, it's a pallet rack net, but it's also for, uh, to hold. If you want to be able to get into stuff, like if you got it in your garage, and you got stuff up high, you don't want it to fall down, like if an earthquake or a hurricane or whatever it is. Um, so then you could unhook it here, and then this will just slide back. You grab whatever you need, and then you just pull it back. And Now, can this go on a ceiling also? Yeah. So if it's up high, yeah. you can... That's, Absolutely. Well, when you slide it back, you don't want to drop it on your head, but right. it's easy access. Yeah. What's this? Just another, these are just other types of nets that we've made for other industries or the RV industry. Just shoes, yeah, you name it. Well, that's one of the things in an RV. Everyone's always wondering, where are we gonna put our shoes? And I've seen people try to utilize the bottom base of their, their king size oh, or yeah. queen size bed. Oh, yeah. So I can see where something like this could really uh, come into play. Those nets that I showed you that had the, the spam in them, Yes. Those are great for underneath there because they will really stretch out and put the shoes. So you the can shoes. put big shoes in there right, too. Right, right. So. And then the get wet organizers um, for people that do running and when you're uh, out in the mud and everything, the great thing about using those is they'll keep the mud and dirt inside there and it won't get dirt on your walls. Okay. And then when it dries out, you just pull the shoes out and then you can pull the thing off and dump it out or wash it, whatever Perfect. you need to do. Okay, so if you've got a unit and the battery is tucked way underneath, you can't get access to it, uh, but you want to recharge the battery or put it on trickle charge for the winter, we've got these easy charge. You hook these to the outside of the, your unit uh, and that's connected directly to the battery. Then all you have to do is hook up your charger to the plugs there 
and you're good to go. I hear you have something special for the pets. Yes, we do. A lot of RV, RVers travel with their uh, cats and dogs and iguanas, you know, whatever it is that they're exactly. traveling with. Um, and then they've got their pet bowls rolling all over the place, got no place to put them. We have a pet kit. So you get the eight by 11 net, you get two stainless steel bowls that'll fit inside the net, and then we get a leash that goes inside there as well. So mo most of the time where the steps go up, you put this right inside on the, on the cabinet, and then this will be right there. So then they can just pull this out. They got their water and their food and a leash to keep them on and they're good. And then the bottom, they'll, hook, they'll use the J hooks and then hook those down to the floor. And so then it's, the pet will not come up there. And then, but it's real, still easy to get access. So if you're up front, you just use a carabiner, pull it off and then get, get access to the back. And you know, another thing, like our stairs that we have going into the fifth wheel, going up to where we actually sleep. A lot of people talk about their pets being able to get underneath those stairs. So this could be another solution right. for them as well. Right. Depends on if they want to tear up the net, but you know. Right. <laughs> are, you are we talking about the pets or the children? The children. Talking, okay. The children. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> yes. So this is the pocket door magnet. So you would replace uh, or screw this in on the pocket door. And then you got this on the other side. And so again, if your door won't quite shut, this will hold it shut. And if you're, feel the strength on that. There you go. Yeah. You. There's just no way yeah, that yeah, I'm going to yeah, get yeah. that off. <laughs> so it'll, it'll definitely help to keep the door shut. That's for so, sure. Yeah. Selling items um, is definitely the, the, the eight by 11 frame, the eight by 16 and the four by nines. People put their CPAP machines and books and, um, glasses, all their stuff at night, you know, by their beds and anywhere you've got that much space, you can, it's perfect. And it's nice and clean looking and, right. and uh, stays works nice great. and flat. Yep. So then we've got our barrier stretch nets. Um, and these are for any cubby hole. You can even put these on a wall that will still work like a frame net. Uh, you would just use uh, these P clamps and you put a piece of the net and uh, the bungee through there. And then you screw that into the wall and that's how it mounts. And then it's more of a permanent mount. Um, and if you want to be able to take it completely off, we have these J hooks. So that allows it to be hooked to the wall. It's hooked but to the wall, it you just put that up there like that. And then it's good to go until you want to take it completely off and then you just pull it off. So with the fruit hammock, they'll use um, like permanent ones on the, on the back and on the sides, and then they'll use the hook on the front just to be able to pull that down. So what is the most unique item that you sell? Probably the, the, the knife magnet. To have those on the wall, it keeps, it protects your blades. It looks clean on the wall and it keeps your stuff from banging around all over in the, in the drawers. That's a great, great use right there. I've seen a lot of people using something similar to that, but not really the strength right, of that magnet right, right, right there. Right. So this, for people who have pocket doors, um, most of the time they'll have just that clear plastic thing with a snap. Yes. And trying to get that snap, you, you're you trying to break your nail and everything else. And the plastic cracks and breaks, right. rips off. So this uh, unit will screw in the same place that your plastic thing is and you got the, the hook there J hook uh, and then you can grab this and this stretches around the hook and you don't have to fight with that snap and Perfect. we've got this in several different sizes if you need to stretch long Steve they, they see this and they're saying I don't live in Elkhart I can't walk into your store how are they gonna find you and be able to place an order with you organizedobi.com that has everything that's available on aftermarket. I'll put the link below. So yeah, they can order everything on the website and on most things, um, we have them ready-made and you should be able to ship right away. Some things might take a couple weeks depending upon if it's a custom, like a, the, um, the bunk bed nets, if, if we don't have those in stock, we might have to make those. You know, because you're making them made. right here. Right, right, right. Right directly here. So they're gonna ship directly to you from Elkhart, Indiana. Yeah, absolutely. We would love it if you would subscribe, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. And don't forget to ring that bell so you'll be notified when our next video comes out. So remember, and do never forget, 
It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.